This video is about how to dispute an insurance total loss on a car. The topic came up when one of our subscribers, Peter, wrote in saying this. I was driving home on the highway when an SUV in front of me swerved to avoid hitting a deer. I hit it instead. The damage was bad, but not too bad for a good mechanic who could have fixed it up in no time and only cost around $1,000 or so. But that's not how my insurance company saw things. They were all about how much this car is worth and what kind of repairs would be needed, as if they thought I didn't know better than them. Finally, after weeks of waiting around on their decision, they declared the car totaled, which means they're going to pay me for the value of my car rather than repairing it themselves. That's unacceptable because of the fact it's not my fault. I don't want to be compensated for what they think is fair. I just need them to fix the car so I can get back on my way. After weeks of waiting around and getting nowhere with their decision making process, Peter got in touch with us asking for advice. This is what we told him and the insurance company paid out for the repairs. Today you're going to learn how to dispute an insurance total loss on a car. This short video will teach you what the term means why it is important and how you can do it yourself in less than 30 minutes. So if your insurance company told you that your vehicle was totaled or written off after they inspected it, make sure that this won't be the case by watching this video now. Don't miss this. Please note, this video is not intended as legal information and does not provide legal advice. If you need legal advice, contact the licensed attorney. If you have been in an accident and your car is totaled, call your insurance company as soon as possible. They will ask you for information about the vehicle, including the year, make, model, and a description of the damage. Also take any photos. Your representative may be calculating whether or not they think it's a total loss, but won't necessarily tell you that they're doing these calculations. The insurance company will start to calculate the likelihood that your case is a total loss, but won't necessarily tell you this. This can be frustrating because you don't know if they are working with their own best interests or yours. Once this has been done, wait for their response as they will either offer to pay out in full or negotiate with you over what kind of settlement percentage would work best for both parties involved. You then wait for a decision from the insurance company. If you are not happy with the insurance company's decision, fear not. You can dispute a total loss and save thousands of dollars and a huge amount of inconvenience. How do you dispute total loss? I'll show you now. First off, Get your vehicle records in order. It's possible that the insurance company undervalued your car in their report. If you believe this to be true, gather and copy any records of a recent repair or estimate before filing for an appeal with them. Your records should include any additional options your vehicle has, the service history, any proof of regular maintenance, and any ways you improve the vehicle after you purchased it. Always remember to find any receipts if possible. Next, do some research. If you think your insurer undervalued your vehicle or overpriced the cost of repair, check out Kelly Blue Book. Kelly Blue Book is a good place to start if they undervalued it or overpriced repairs when estimating the value of your vehicle after an accident. KBB lets you calculate valuations of your vehicle based on condition and location, as well as offer prices from sellers in different areas with similar cars like yours for sale online and in newspapers. Finally, get written quotes from mechanics who are qualified to work on your vehicle model. Remember though, vehicle owners are often shocked to learn that the vehicle has depreciated significantly since they bought it. Remember that the resale value of your vehicle, not the price you paid for it, determines its worth don't get a shock. You can now see that what I'm showing you will make sure that you are not taken advantage of by any insurance companies. Knowledge is power, my friend. After this next segment, you'll be armed with what you need to get your insurance company reverse their decision. The next step is to submit all your research to the insurance company. At this point, they will either agree with your findings or they will deny them. Next, submit all of the records evidence and research that you have done on this claim and see if it matches up with what their adjuster's records show as well. Then wait for a response from the insurance company before moving forward in any other way. At this point, they will either agree with your findings or deny them. The insurance company will then send you a letter in the mail of their decision. If they deny your claim, then move on to the next step. 
keep watching as if all these steps come up blank for you i've got a big trick up my sleeve for you that should only be used as a last resort also please like this video by doing so it will help other people who also disagree with their insurance company help find the video go ahead click the like button now next step is to call your insurance company and negotiate never ever accept their first offer insurance companies are powerful people they have money and that's what you need to decide to either repair your car or buy a new one if they deem yours as totaled but the thing is this if you can wait it out then there might be some power in waiting it out because insurance adjusters are often under pressure to settle cases quickly so don't make any decisions quickly and when adjusting for negotiations their discretion has been reported to increase settlement amounts by up to $500. Use this against them. You are now forcing them to do more research and be more thorough in their work or face penalties. What I'm going to tell you now is gold. If you are now forcing the insurance company to do more research and be more thorough in their work or face penalties, i.e. give you what you want, say you are sick and tired of going back and forward and your time has a monetary value on it and you're considering filing an official complaint at the Department of Insurance if they don't come to some sort of agreement with what is fair for both parties involved in the situation. Insurance companies are required by law to settle claims in good faith. If you believe that your insurer has acted in bad faith, submitting a complaint with the state's department of insurance is an excellent way for them to take action on it and investigate potential fraud or violations of statute insurance companies don't want this hassle insurance companies can be held liable if they act unreasonably when settling their customers insurance disputes however complaining about this unfair treatment doesn't have to feel like pulling your teeth when you know you're in the right patience is key and insurance companies do not want the state's Department of Insurance involved. Do you want another quick tip on how to dispute an insurance total loss on a car? This one is good. Use emotion when contacting the insurance company. Another subscriber of our channel, Jenny, told us this story how she got on her insurer's good side. My car was totaled and I've been paying for my insurance on time every month but apparently that wasn't enough. The insurance company said they weren't going to pay anything because the accident was my fault. It's hard enough getting around without a vehicle as it is, so I can't afford not having one either. But when I talked to them about how much this meant to me, suddenly their tone changed and it seemed like they were understanding with what the situation meant to me. They told me that in these situations, their concern is always with the customer first and foremost, which helped ease my mind. Whilst I wait for their response, they have given me a courtesy car whilst mine is in the shop. Now we're just waiting for an estimate of repairs from our mechanic so we can move forward with everything. Hopefully soon, things will be back to normal. When you emphasize the emotional aspect of your argument, Value Penguin says that people are more inclined to believe what you're saying. Talk about how hard it is for me to get around without my vehicle, such as picking up my kids, going shopping and getting to work. Get the protection you deserve and that you have been paying for. If you need to learn how to know if compensation offered to you is fair and not to be scammed out of money that's rightfully yours, take a look at our next video which shows you how to calculate an insurance settlement so you are not shortchanged. If you found this video informative, please like, comment, share or subscribe so other people in the same situation as you can also find this video. Thank you.